Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So, you know, how was it uh, hearing your name, like some of his biggest songs? Like, you know, one of the songs for Nito, like, I just came down there for Keem. Yeah. You know, with Kimo, like, how was that? Because, you know, that shit, a song that they play in the clubs a lot, parties a lot. Like, shit, do you fun. ever be in parties and clubs where that shit cut on? For sure. Hell yeah. I mean, I, I embrace it. Like, <laughs> like I, I stay humble about it, like, because I... Honestly, like, folks sent me the song right after he made the song. Like, motherfuckers don't even know. Like, right after he made that shit, he sent that shit to my Facebook inbox and told me to listen to that shit. You feel me? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, and I'm just on some, like, damn, bro, just shouted me out. You feel me? But I did shit with Pappy. Like, I didn't, I didn't did, like, a lot of shit with Pappy. Like, that I would never speak on. He can't speak on. But I didn't deal shit with bro, you feel me? Like, so I, it, it just made me feel good that to this, to this day, you feel me? Like, folks, folks really resting in peace saying that he fucking with me. You feel me? I, I really, that really make me feel good. So you know what, uh, him uh, shouting you out in the songs and shit like that, like what would you say was like one of your most like lit moments? Probably like you out somewhere they played it or like one of your most like memorable moments where like they like everybody probably knew who you was, you teed or some shit like that. Shit, when I really got out and, and shit after folks passed away, you know, that's really, you know, when motherfuckers really start showing us love and shit. After he passed away, shit, I came home, my bro, and you know, motherfuckers overplaying finito and I'm just like, I, I, I really couldn't mourn folks how I really wanted to, you feel me? Because I didn't get to see him no more. So just everybody playing for me, thought they turn up to that shit. I just came from down there with chemo and I'm literally on some, <laughs> like on some damn for my boy, like on bro, like, and I always respect him for that. And that's not the only song he shot at me out in, like, yeah. it's just that song, like, it's just. That's the one. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so I will always, like, respect him for that, like, you know? Bro. Keep it real, like, have you ever got some pussy off just that alone? Oh, <laughs> Are you I, chemo, that's? <laughs> did, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did I? <laughs> she okay. Still is that. <laughs> to this day, to this day, to this day! <laughs> Cause I don't know how, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like, I ain't gonna say every nigga, but I know a lot of niggas got pussy off a Chief Keep name. The niggas didn't even know Chief Keep from okay. white girls out of town, all type of shit. Like, you from Chicago? You know, yeah, that's what I'm at. Niggas no, like bro, this, nigga. It's just different, folks, because, like, that's, that's really, like, he a big brother to me, folks, so I never really looked at him on some, oh, yeah, he a rapper. Oh, yeah. Like, I ain't get no fuck about Pappy rapping, folks. Like, he, like, he know that. Like, I really cared about protecting him because I really cared about killing motherfuckers. I didn't give a fuck about nothing that he was doing. I just wanted to make sure he was safe and I could drop dead right now. That's all I cared about. And any motherfucker that know me personally, no. That's all I cared about. I only started rapping because my son got born. And I, he really gave me clout. So shit, Pappy gave me this clout. So shit, I'm gonna run with it on game. Folks gave me this. Like, ain't nobody else gave it to me. Folks gave it to me, so I gotta run with it. He's dead now. Like, he can't make no more music. So, what else I'm gonna do? This is another question I got. It's like, I want you to answer it. But I don't want you to answer it if you know what I'm saying. But like when it kind of like the death of uh, Pappy type shit, like would you say that's some shit that like the streets know, or is it really like a real mystery type shit? Was like you recording? Yeah. On Folsom Gray, he got back door, and the niggas that was out there they ain't blow their pipe, and now he dead, and he ain't down Bosworth on Folsom Grave, and that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you, you uh man I'm speaking on like what he got killed. I really don't. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, buddy. I really don't. Cause it's just like Is that something people could go look up though? Like if they want I mean to. they can't cause niggas gonna keep that a secret. Like his family know this though. Like he like come on bro, like So like where he died at, like, you know, cause you know how they be on Reddit in the fans. Like, I mean he died in Uptown. He died yeah. in Uptown where he from. He died in Uptown. You feel me? Like <laughs> folks died where he's from, like and what, where exactly was he from, like TFG or PBG? Or, I mean, shit, folks uh, is really from Lawrence and Winthrop. 
Folks is a gangster disciple from Lawrence and Muerto. And what uh, hood would that be considered? That's L Dub. They throw that shit up like this. Oh. On bro. That's where they from. And this, you feel me? This ain't no. I love BU to death on bro. Like. That's what BU from? Yeah, that's what BU from. That's his big brother. Like, I love folks to death. Like, on bro, but yeah. You feel me? Folks died on that block. He ain't died on our block. <laughs> and the motherfucker can't get mad at me for that. Like, <laughs> folks ain't would never die on our block. But that's just what I'm saying, though. So why do people feel like, you know, he's back door? Because, like, looking at somebody like Pappy, he, it looked like he was more beneficial to everybody that's around than somebody that, like, you would want to back door type shit. Like, is it, like, some shit people I ain't gonna know? I'd be hating talking about folks, G. I'd be really hating talking about folks, G, because that should be giving me my feelings. But on some real shit, folks, like, motherfuckers feel like he got back door because, like, really, like, he was, old, he was around niggas that he don't fuck with. Like, fuck, like, I was locked up. He called Duddy. Spaz was somewhere else. Like, d -Mac was locked up. Like, all niggas that he really know that's going to go for him was nowhere around. So he had no other choice. Like, and I'm going to keep it real. No, folks in grave, bro. Can't nobody silence me. Folks, in, can't nobody silence me. I got this shit tied on my face. Pappy gang for life. Can't nobody silence me. Folks got back door. Point blank period. Either by the police or by them niggas. I'm not gonna say what niggas. I'm gonna say dumb niggas. Period. And if a motherfucker feels some type of way on folks in the grade, that's what it is. Cause I take that Pappy Gang shit serious on bro. Folks lost his life for this shit. And he could have made sure we all were straight for like for life. We all would have been straight for life. Cause of Pappy. I wouldn't even be right here. Like, I wouldn't even be rapping. Like, folks would give me anything I want. He told me numerous times. Like, but now I gotta rap cause folks dead. Because niggas ain't right, like, you know? So, like, you know, why do people feel that way? Like, is this something that he might have did or got into where people feel like uh, people got a reason to do it? Like, is it like a motive? Or, like, are you just looking at the facts of everything and putting two and two together and come up with that conclusion? But, it's like, yeah. on the outside looking in, it looked like he would be the way out. So, it's like, why would anybody affiliated or, like, they got, you know, a relationship want to do that for? They, 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 they just figured it out they self. Like, you feel me? Like, we keep speaking on this shit, so. For they sure. can figure out what really happened to Pappy they self. Like, they really care. So, you know, when you, uh, like, pop out, you know, outside, well, I don't know, do you, like, go to clubs, shit like that? Because I know you be on that rock star shit, so do you be partying, popping out, going to clubs, shit like that? Nah, gang, I don't really fuck with no clubs in Chicago <laughs> unless I'm performing. Sure. But I'll be popping out, though. Like, I'll be popping out, like, to little, little, little lounge, just look hookah bars in the rack, like, with phone them, like, but I don't really fuck with no clubs, though, unless I'm performing now. So, you know, doing shit like that, like, do you feel like when you be doing that shit, like, it's, it's regular, or, or do it be on some, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's chemo, he from this and that, or is it like a mixture? Like, can you pop out and shit just be regular? And I mean, honestly, know like, you? anytime I'm with my brothers, for I'll be, I'll be, I'll be having, I'll be expecting them to know, like, for, <laughs> I'm the only nigga in Chicago with blue dreads. I'm making this be known that I have blue dreads. You got the GD dread. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so <laughs> we need to be on point, gang. Anywhere we go, you feel me? So that's just really what I be letting folks in know. But any, other than that, like, we be outside. On um, bro, we be outside. Okay. Didn't, didn't uh, like, I think early in my career, you had, like, a show that I was at recording. I think it was you and, uh... I don't know if it's Lero. Lero. Oh, gang, y'all yeah. rock that bitch. For sure, hell yeah. Didn't y'all, didn't y'all like win something for that? Like yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, what was, what was that situation? Uh, I think I won a slot to perform, yeah, Lil, Lil TJ. TJ on gang. Perform Lil TJ on gang. <laughs> I ain't oh, gonna lie. saying everything, Shaker saying everything, oh bro, like yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that, I ain't gonna lie, that day was a special day for me. And like, I think you might know, cause I was, I was, you wanted to, I think you the second nigga I interviewed. So, bro, you was on the first artist I was working with, even on the music video side. And I know you probably remember I pulled up with a girl. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, that was my ex. So, you know, we broke up whatever. <laughs> but my next time seeing her. Why, 16? Why? Why? <laughs> why? Like, what does this have to do? Because I know you, you, you definitely gonna remember this shit. Like, that day at that, uh, at that show, you know, I ain't seen her in forever. My next time seeing her, she had an event, and I'm getting booked there. And it was like, you know, we ain't we wasn't on good terms. But it was like one of those moments where it's like, you feel like that nigga, cause so, she there, she performing, mm -hmm. but I'm paid to be here. And a random nigga walk up, ask me to take a picture. <laughs> so, you know, like, 
<laughs> Imagine you in front of your ex. Very relatable. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Imagine you in front of your ex, right? Uh, and the motherfucker just walks up ass, take a picture. See, hold on. What the fuck he got going on? <laughs> See that with the hat on, looking down on what it look. And it was like, damn, that was one of those glow moments. <laughs> so, I ain't gonna lie, you turn, buddy. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, utmost respect for, like, I, I was just booked two years for when I was just hearing about you for, like, you turn, for, like, I ain't gonna lie, gang. You turn for sure. <laughs> So, you know, how was, how was that situation for you, you know, because uh, I feel like y'all kind of had the advantage coming there because it's like, it was other rappers and shit, but I ain't Man, gang, the only reason, bro, that we're not on right now because I just got locked up and Lero got locked up right after me. Folks in the Fred, folks in the feds right now. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of good shit about him, like, when it kind of, like, up north and who to work with, a lot of people. Lero. Yeah, okay. <laughs> dude, free Lero Mac, dude. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> folks, is the truth. <laughs> I, I'm the rock star, he the coach. <laughs> But hey, that you was just talking to, he the bully. <laughs> like, that's what it is.